girl here wants me to come out of the elevator so she can come out of the elevator. Because it's a small space we're supposed to maintain social distancing. I don't understand why you can't just politely step but out and pull both, me out of the elevator. When I asked you nicely, well, you have been wearing your mask. You didn't ask me nicely. You said ride. get the f out the elevator. I said that after you refused no, 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 to get no. out. You have a giant but wall. You so get up at your floor. I'm trying to You're get up at my floor. I can't come close to you. Do you not understand that I have an extremely compromised immune system? Okay, so one of the most evil men in world history is back in the news. So Anthony Fauci. We all know Anthony Fauci, that muskrat, that demon of a man who led the charge, who helped lead the charge anyway with the Democrats in crushing the lives of millions of Americans. The one that the Democrats use as a tool, as an excuse to shut down schools, to crush the education of children, to destroy thousands of businesses throughout the country over a completely overblown disease, a disease with a 99.7% survival rate where the average age of death was 80, which is higher than the life expectancy of the average American, meaning that it really didn't make any significant difference at all when it comes to life expectancy, when it comes to people dying. So he was dragged in, Anthony Fauci was dragged in by some Republicans in the House by this subcommittee that they created. In question, I don't have a lot of confidence in these Republicans because they're extremely soft and they've been talking and it's been years and we haven't seen any major action. But we're going to go over this New York Post article because something that I said back in 2020, something that I said nearly four years ago, and I was called a conspiracy theorist for it, is that that whole social distancing thing, that whole six feet apart thing, was completely irrelevant, meant absolutely nothing. And these guys are about to confess that they made the whole thing up to begin with. So let's look here. COVID six feet social distancing sort of just appeared. <laughs> Likely lacked scientific basis, Fauci admits. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? See, this is from yesterday, art from yesterday. Isn't it amazing how four years later these fools come out and admit it after people have tried to sweep it under the rug? Oh, let's just forget about this whole C-19 thing. Let's just forget everything that happened, how we tried to ruin your lives, how we tried to force people to get vaccines. Kids in certain states couldn't go to school without an untested, unproven vaccine. They tried to shut down businesses. Joe Biden tried to shut down businesses and force 83 million people out of work if they didn't comply with big pharma and getting that untested unproven vaccine so when people like me back in the day back four years ago said that six feet apart social distancing wouldn't do anything they said oh you're wearing a tinfoil hat <laughs> you're a conspiracy theorist you have no idea what you're talking about you're trying to kill grandma <laughs> and that's why to this day i wear tinfoil hats because it was about this whole c19 thing they said, I'm wearing a tinfoil hat because I said we need to ask questions. We need to dig into deeper scientific evidence. We need to do real scientific research on what actually works. We need to help people exercise and eat properly and conduct good personal hygiene. And that's going to be their best bet against diseases like C-19. But no, they said you need to put a filthy piece of cloth on your face and you need to be six feet apart. And if you do that some way, somehow, because we said so, you are be protected. <laughs> so let's get into this. Dr. Anthony Fauci confessed to lawmakers Tuesday that guidelines to keep six feet of separation ostensibly to limit the spread of C-19 sort of just appeared without scientific input. Fauci, 83, revealed to the House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic that the six feet apart recommendation championed by him and other U.S. public health officials was likely not based on scientific data, according to Chairman Brad Winstrup of Ohio, who is also a physician. So I just want to know where people like Brad Winstrup and others were back in 2020 when they got on their knees and submitted to this man submitted to the cdc when they knew these people i was shocked how people who have been working in public health for years people who have been working in medicine for years people who knew better sat there and submitted bent over to these people when they knew that stuff was a lie they sat there and 
pushing it out to the American people, have people looking like fools out there going around talking about, oh, maintain social distancing. You go to a grocery store, they got the arrows on the floor. Well, if you're going up this aisle, you need to walk that way. And if you're standing in the checkout line, you need to be way over here because we got somebody over here. So you need to maintain this distance. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Complete nonsense. These people were looking like straight up idiots. But some people were benefiting. Big Pharma benefited greatly. We saw how Pfizer, Moderna, they made hundreds of billions of dollars off of this whole thing. We see these mass companies that popped up out of nowhere. Thousands of companies that produce mass. Oh, they made a killer. They made millions of dollars off of selling filthy pieces of cloth. You can walk around with a Yu-Gi-Oh. You got Pikachu. You got the Lakers. You got your favorite football team. You got jewelry and stuff on a piece of cloth. Talking about this is going to protect you from the deadliest disease in history as they tried to make it seem. But it was complete nonsense and people like this, people in positions of authority who knew better failed. Except for somebody like Ron Paul because he was on Fauci's ass from jump. Schools nationwide remain closed well into the second year of the pandemic as a result of the social distancing guidelines which were disputed by both research studies and other health officials. So I will say this. I will give credit to some people because we had people, some people who knew better try to speak out, but social media, these big tech companies silenced them. You got on YouTube back in the day. You got on Twitter before Elon took over. You got on Facebook, all these companies. They would silence you. They would kill your account. We went into a state of full-blown fascism. They were saying, look, if you don't go alone to get along, if you don't go with what the ruling elite say, what Fauci, what the CDC directors say, if you don't go along with the Democrat Party and the agenda that the DNC is pushing down about shutting schools down, about social distancing and all that crap, then we will silence you. You better not get on here talking nonsense. You better not get on here opposing and using freedom of speech. You better not do that. Otherwise, we will destroy your account. And to this day, YouTube, a video like this, YouTube is going to put a disclaimer in and say, well, he's talking about C-19, but let's us direct you to the CDC so you can get their perspective. The CDC, that organization that straight up lied to us for years. YouTube wants to say, oh, yeah, go to their website to get the truth, <laughs> even though they're a bunch of lying sex and shit. It's insane, man. It never struck me that six feet was particularly sensical in the context of mitigation, Dr. Ashid Jha, the dean of the Brown University School of Public Health, who served as President Biden's COVID response coordinator for 15 months, told the New York Times in March 2021. So you should have been out there screaming. You should have been trying to get as many people who would listen to understand that Fauci and were full of it. I wish the CDC would just come out and say this is not a major issue. Asked about a study in Massachusetts schools that found just three feet of distance between students resulted in similar COVID case rates. Fauci said the same month the CDC was very carefully reviewing the data and likely updated. <laughs> A top White House advisor to two presidential administrations, Fauci's transcribed interview before the House COVID panel revealed systemic failures in our public health system and shed light on serious procedure concerns with our public health authority, according to Winsor. Yo, so here are two main issues. You let politics seep into it. These people in these high-level positions like Fauci, like Michelle Raliski or whatever the hell her name was, the CDC lady. They're deeply involved in politics, and not only were they just involved in politics, they were particularly involved with the Democrat Party. So they had an agenda pushed down by the CDC, and the DNC's agenda was, okay, we're in an election year. We need to use this golden opportunity to get rid of Trump. So we need somebody like Fauci to go out and contradict Trump, make Trump look stupid, make Trump look dumb, and say everything the opposite of what he's saying. So we can get on CNN, we'll get on NBC, ABC, and say Trump doesn't know what he's doing. He's responsible for all these deaths. He's not listening to extra like Fauci. So that's one of the main issues with our public health system. These guys are deeply involved with the Democrat Party. And on top of that, all you need is a guy in a suit with a title and anybody just believe him. You can't just have one or two voices being a main authority. This should have been the topic of debate. We should have had public hearings blaring 24 7 where input from both sides or whatever other opposing opinions people had we should have had all this stuff being pushed through social media on national tv so people can decide what's best for themselves when it comes to their own health but no they didn't want that they said look we're going to push down one 
particular fascist like message and if you oppose us we'll shut you down on social media we'll call you a conspiracy theorist we'll call you a liar we'll say you're killing grandma and you don't know what you're talking about so that's the problem that was a major problem let's look at this picture here these people look like absolute idiots out here outside <laughs> sitting in sir man i wouldn't even let these people take a picture of me looking like this they look like absolute fools because they completely fell into it they completely believe nonsense like this if you want to go to the park you want to hang out <laughs> look just sit in the circle over here see if you go an inch outside the circle you might get c19 and drop dead <laughs> But if you sit down inside the circle, oh, you're safe because the virus, I guess it sees the circles. It sees the lines and it won't cross the lines and I guess you'll be totally fine. It's kind of like when you walk into those restaurants, you had to have a filthy, dirty piece of cloth over your face. But then as soon as the hostess took you to your seat, oh, yeah, you take the mask off. Now you're perfectly fine. And people can see through this, even people, you didn't have to be a public health expert. You didn't have to be a disease expert to know that that made absolutely no sense at all. <laughs> Those failures included forcing vaccination mandates on schools and businesses. After two days of testimony and 14 hours of questioning, many things became evident. During his interview today, Dr. Fauci claimed that the policies and mandates he promoted may unfortunately increase vaccine hesitancy for years to come, Winstrup said. Yeah, that's totally your fault. The CDC used to be one of the more reputable organizations in the country. People actually look to it to say, okay, these guys are experts. They know about how to keep us safe. You saw them in movies. People used to talk them up. But they completely killed their own credibility. So if people don't believe a word that they say, if people don't believe a single sentence on their website, then I don't blame them because they brought this on themselves by taking advantage of public trust to make billions of dollars for Big Pharma to enrich themselves personally and force people to do things that they didn't want to do. It's clear that dissenting opinions were often not considered or suppressed completely. Should a future pandemic arise, America's response must be guided by scientific facts and conclusive data, which I doubt. If something like this was to happen again, I doubt that scientific facts and conclusive data is going to dictate anything. It's going to be run again by politics, by politicians manipulating the masses, by manipulating a bunch of sheep to be their police force on the ground people going around screaming being mass police screaming about social distancing dumb asses who run businesses and organizations who try to enforce these policies oh you can't come and keep my grocery store because we're going to die completely ridiculous man or trying to enforce their employees to get vaccines even though it's not necessary winston also said committee members remain frustrated with dr fauci's inability to recollect COVID-19 information that is important for our investigation. Yeah, of course he doesn't remember. While others we have spoken to do recall the facts. Representative Michael Cloud of Texas, who sits on a panel, said Tuesday that Fauci has shown an amazing ability to either forget what happened or then to find ways to shirk any sort of responsibility for the influence that was had during the two-day affair. They washed their hands of any sort of responsibility saying, oh, those decisions were made by school districts. <laughs> yeah. Dumbasses in charge of these school districts decided to shut down schools, had kids walking around with these filthy cloths on their face, had kids doing social distancing because they used people like the CDC, Michelle Rolinsky, them. they used Fauci to justify what they did. Oh, yeah, we're going to shut down businesses. We're going to keep the school closed. And your kids who are already struggling academically, they're going to get even worse. We're going to do that and we can get away with it because, hey, Fauci said we can do it, so we can do it. But Fauci said, no, that was a school district. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> but the school districts, though, if you don't follow the guidelines coming out of the federal government, you open yourselves up to lawsuits. Klaus said of Fauci and other U.S. pandemic response officials. Yeah, that's true. So that's one big reason why some of these businesses and these schools did what they did because they felt, well, we have to comply, even though a lot of them wanted to. A lot of it, well, we have to comply with this, otherwise somebody might sue us. <laughs> he says he's still not convinced that there was learning loss, <laughs> that in his view, that's still really open for discussion. So these dumbasses in charge of these schools, in charge of these organizations, people who shut down the economy and all of these governors, they only factored in what Fauci them said. They didn't think about long-term health impact, mental health impact, learning loss, economic concerns they didn't think about any of it they said look it's 2020 is an election year we need to shut down the economy crash everything 
and blame Trump if anything goes bad. <laughs> and that's exactly what they did. That's why the Republican governors who did shut down, that's why they quickly opened back up. But the Democrats kept that crap shut down for as long as they could. These blue states had people walking around with these 50 cloths on their face doing social distancing for years with no scientific evidence at all. I mean, a complete abuse of power. But they want to call Trump a dictator. <laughs> Crazy. I think if you ask any parent, they'll tell you it was a major hit on their child's development. Republican staff members said the former National Institute of Allergy and Infections Disease, NIED, director also admitted that America's vaccine mandates during the C-19 pandemic would increase vaccine hesitancy in the future, but that he advised U.S. colleges to impose vaccine mandates on their students during the pandemic. And that's why people don't want to get these vaccines. That's why people don't trust the government. That's why the CDC has zero credibility. That's why a worm, a muskrat, a evil piece of shit like Fauci has no credibility except for among the left wing sheep who just believe anything that the Democrat Party tells them. Because you're sitting here trying to enforce if the disease is that deadly. If it's that bad, people dropping dead in the streets, if it's like the Black Death, people will be lining up to get a vaccine. If your vaccine is foolproof, it works just like you hacked it up to work. Like Biden said, if you get the vaccine, you won't get the disease. Exactly what he said. And people dropping dead in the street, the worst disease ever. People would be arguing and fighting, trying to get the vaccine in masses. But we had the opposite. We had them trying to force people. To get it. If you don't get the vaccine, you're going to get fired. If you don't get the vaccine, you can't go to school. If you don't get the vaccine, you can't go grocery shopping. You can't get on the airplane. But if it's that bad, you wouldn't need to do stuff like that. They said if you get the vaccine, you get a burger, fries. They were giving away marijuana. They were giving away liquor. They were saying you get a shot of Hennessy if you get the vaccine. In Vegas, they had strip clubs. They had the tents lined up in the parking lot of strip clubs. Saying, okay, you come out here. Let us give you the Fauci ouchie, and then you'll get a free lap dance. <laughs> so they're doing all this to compel people to get the vaccine. But if it was that bad, wouldn't the people have been getting the vaccine on their own? It's crazy, man. In 2021, Fauci had also said it was proven that when you make it difficult for people in their lives, they lose their ideological BS and they get vaccinated. Yep. He said that because people were talking about personal freedom and all that. And Fauci is like, look, man, I don't want to hear all that, man. Just take away their money. Take away their jobs. Don't let them go to school. Try to keep them out the grocery stores. When you crush them like that, when you put them in desperate situation, all that talk about freedom and let's debate, all that goes out the window. They're going to shut the hell up and do what I tell them to do. That's what Fauci said. But people want to forget all of that. But he's not getting away with this. This man needs to be in prison. No, he needs to be executed. Death penalty for a slimy piece of shit like Anthony Fauci. The COVID Select Committee will hear further testimony from Fauci in a public hearing later this year. Representative Paul Ruiz, a doctor and top Democrat on the subcommittee, dismissed the majority's interview with Fauci in a statement as an extreme fishing expedition calling on Republicans to make the full transcript available to the public. Yeah, let's read it up. The second record member did not attend Monday's transcript interview with Fauci, but showed up for the second day of questioning. Winstrup told reporters that the full transcripts of the interview with Fauci will be released once they are reviewed by majority and minority staff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing out of public. Let's go ahead and lock Fauci up. Let's stop all this BS, these political games. All we need to drag you in for yet another meeting. We need to have a discussion about this because Republicans are going to ask a few tough questions. They're going to say some things that people like me, us conspiracy theorists, have been saying for the last four years. And more than likely, they're not going to do anything about it. And the Democrats are just going to deflect. They're going to say, well, this is a fishing expedition. You're just making stuff up. Everything that you did was good and perfect because he helped Trump look bad. He helped us shut down the economy because of Fauci. We were able to justify shutting down schools, shutting down businesses, causing people major grief, destroying the economy, increasing employment. And then we said, oh, it's all Trump's fault. So vote for Biden. And that's the only reason. If this C-19 thing never happened, Trump would be president right now because the economy was doing extremely well. No wars were started. The economy is doing good. So that's a historical track record to show that the incumbent would be reelected. But they had the ultimate weapon. Let's crush our own people. People like Gavin Newsom, California, 40 million people. I'm going to destroy my own state. 
I'm going to crush the education of my children. I'm going to shut down businesses. I'm going to run people off. I'm going to cause mass chaos, destruction, and create all types of horrific hardships in people's life. And then I'm going to say, yeah, that's Trump's fault. And these sheep, even a lot of these independent voters who lean left anyway, a lot of these independent voters, they just said, oh, yeah, this is on Trump. Trump should have used his magic wand and made everything go away. But because he couldn't, I'm going to vote for a senile pedophile or Joe Biden. So, like I said, Fauci needs to be in jail or executed for this evil atrocity that he helped lead. And the Republicans need to stop foot drag and stop all these little meetings and actually take action. So, let me know what you guys think about this. Leave me your thoughts below. Share the video. Thanks for watching.